So here's how you make your axles. First thing you do is cut the ends off you don't need anymore, the VW ends, the cutting wheel grinder. You can always save those and use them to fix up a bad CV shaft if the boot was broken, the CV joint went bad. So you are going to use the inner ends for the VW because that's a VW transmission in there now. So these are cut extra long, but this end was put on the three jaw chuck in a lathe. This used to be a lot longer. It had a center point like that put on the tailstock of the lathe and turned between centers. And this collar has a one inch hole that's a nice precise fit so there's no wobble. There's V grooves cut in there and there's a V groove cut in there too on both sides. So I drill, I cut some off with the cutting wheel grinder. I drill a 3 8 hole, I cut an angle this way and an angle that way. And when I assemble that, well then I just don't have a radial weld. I have a weld in here too, so it makes it harder to fracture and harder to shear. These are cut a bit long. The way you size them is you start to install them in the vehicle and all inner CV joints are compressible because as the wheel goes up and down the axle length gets longer and shorter. So you compress it to about halfway then make magic marker marks where it's going to fit in the collar and then cut off the excess so that they both meet in the middle and touch. This one's a little different. You don't need to cut the V grooves here, but you do there and there. So, that's a perfect fit. Plugs right in there. And then this goes in here. And the reason I don't need the V grooves is, is it's going to be radially welded all around there. But when it's slipped into here, it's going to have another weld. So the very first weld I do is there. I just leave that extra piece on. It doesn't make any difference. And then when I install it in here, the next weld I do is around here. And when it's installed, it'll be sticking away from the rubber about that far. So that when you do your nice weld, it's not going to heat up the rubber and melt it. And I keep some water nearby anyways. So if I spit on it and I see it start to sizzle there, well then I dump a little water. Simple as that. This is to be the third set of axles I've made this way. The first set I made 20 years ago are still working. Uh, never broke any and they're well balanced. The second set I made five years ago for that maroon van. So I believe I'm going to have total success again. It seems a little expensive, but I don't know how expensive it would be to have custom made half shafts. I mean axle shafts. I've paid to have three uh, axles machined and two sleeves custom made and these uh, motor mount adapters there's another one on this side that cost me 700 altogether a lot of money but who knows how much it would cost and how long it would take to send everything out and have the, an, a shop do it all custom for me and, and just make them without couplers who knows? I'd, I wouldn't race with these axles, but since I'm a 60-year-old man, I drive like a 60-year-old man.